Hi, I've reached a milestone in my effort to add a stack pointer to my PD1 computer. As you know, in my previous build, I had a program counter and a memory address register in this area of the board, but I had to pull it all up so that I could add a stack pointer in the index register. What the milestone I'm at right here is that I have had my program counter completely rebuilt here and my memory address register completely rebuilt here. There are some new things that you'll see. For example, these chips here that are not connected to anything, these will be the stack pointer and index register. I just haven't finished wiring them yet, but I don't need to yet in order to demonstrate that my program counter and memory address register work. The other new things you might notice is this stuff going on right here. These are LS, uh, 74 LS157 uh, line selectors. What I added this for is so that I could populate my program counter with input from either the data bus or the address bus, which is what you see right here. And then a control line controls which one is going to be inputted. This was needed for my forthcoming uh, call subroutine function that will be implemented through the stack pointer. It turns out that I either needed to have more steps in my in my step counter here or I needed to be able to do this to be able to do all the things that is needed in order to do a proper subroutine call using a stack pointer. So that's the one new thing here. Now I one thing I did think about was having this line selector actually feed all the 16-bit registers here but uh, I decided for simplicity and reducing chip count and all that, that it's only going to feed the program counter because that's the only place I really need it in order to do the call subroutine methods. The other thing you'll notice here are the, all these chips where you have a 173 registers for an 8-bit register total and a bunch of adders. What's going on here is this is the offset register, which takes the current address being broadcasted on the address bus and add a constant to it uh, for offsetting it. And then ultimately the, the address that's on the address bus plus this constant will be what's used in order to access memory down here in the ROM and the RAM. This is going to be used to be able to access uh, things that are in the stack. So when I push a value in the stack, if I push multiple values in the stack and I want to access something that is lower in the stack than you know one of the older ones that I pushed on, I can use an offset register to reach it directly rather than having to pop all the values on top of it. This is useful for passing passing arguments to a subroutine. You just push all your values that your subroutine want to operate on onto the stack and then um, then you can access them directly using this offset. So that's what this is about. Right now, this is really doing nothing. The register here, you see there's no inputs coming into it, and the outputs are pulled low by this uh, resistor right here. So uh, for all the addresses that are currently being put on the address bus, all I'm doing is adding zero to it before it goes to the this finalized bus here. So it has no real effect right now. Uh, but when I add the stack pointer and index register, uh, the, this will also be wired up so that I can actually populate it with an offset and do what I just described. So, let's see if it works. Let's uh, turn this on and see if all my wiring was correct. I'm going to put it in a program mode first before I turn it on. And let's apply power. So, it looks like I got something. Let's uh, go ahead and generally reset the computer. Put it into a run mode. And... Uh, it uh, looks like it didn't reset properly, so let's just try resetting it again. Okay, there it goes. It is working. This is the same program that I had in my ROM before I uh, before I rebuilt everything. So the fact that it's working here demonstrates to me that all the wiring for the, new, the newly implemented program counter and the memory address register are working correctly and the additional things like the line selector for the program counter and the address offset register are themselves working pr uh, as I would expect them given the fact they're not really in use right now. One thing you will note that is I'm starting to make more use of these custom built LED bar graphs. Um, the advantage of these things is I can pull this out and kind of show you here is that uh, they are single inline 
um, with one of these pins being the ground pin that gives you much more flexibility in where and how you place them compared to these uh, dual inline bar graphs which have to take up on both sides of the bar graph so you can see I can just place it in right here and it, it covers the wires but it, it, it works just great um, in fact, it's a necessity for the uh, the compactness I needed to do for all the chips for these registers up here. So these 8-bit uh, eight, eight uh, bar graphs are being used, two of them, in order to indicate the value either on the memory address register or the program counter here. So anyways, that's the status of my updated uh, PD1 computer. I should uh, be able to complete my stack register or stack pointer, excuse me, stack pointer and uh, index register soon. And... Uh, Put together a comprehensive video describing all of the changes and uh, what I'm trying to accomplish here. Thank you.